than Mitch Lawrence and Allen Hopkins, and this is the place to be. If you like championship nine ball, there is no more exciting place than inside Mohegan Sun. Efren Reyes, the magician from Manila in the Philippines, doing what he did very well in his semifinal match, and that is breaking the ball and hopefully <laughs> staying at the table, Allen. And this one is for 50 thousand dollars well, you're exactly right mitch he broke the balls and made the one ball on the side notice the cue ball and the two ball in the center of the table together he'll be pocketing the two ball in that corner and here's the three ball so that's what he's going to play position on and that's what he's concerned about right now this is not an easy position shot and he's going to take an extension here he's allowed 30 seconds and after 30 seconds he needs to take it uh, actually a time timeout and then gets 30 more seconds it's allowed once each rack by either player, for both players, correct? Yeah. So you can tell the the place that Efren is in right now of knowing that this is the tough shot for him in terms of this rack, doing something smart. You do not want to get off to a bad start. Mika Eminen playing extremely well, as is Efren Reyes. And he's taking a little extra tough shot on the three ball just to make sure he has a shot on it. And he'll bring the cue ball back out toward the center of the table for the four ball. There it is. Slow down. Slow down. And that is absolutely perfect, wow. Mitch. Wow. And right off the bat, <laughs> right off the bat, saying I've got some speed control. Oh. And we saw him do this, as I mentioned, his semifinal match against Xiao Lang Feng of Taiwan. Two sets to nothing. And he played almost flawless nine ball in that match. Moving around the table quickly, as he's starting to do now that this pattern has been established <laughs> and he can get toward that nine ball as he works his way around let's see where this winds up and there is a little bit of a mistake right there and he knows it that's very uncharacteristic of Ephraim he has all drifted all the way down to the bottom rail where he where to cut the eight to cut the seven ball in here's the seven ball he's gonna try to cut it in this corner no he's not he's gonna play it safe hitting it down table behind the eight ball and bringing the cue ball as so. Excellent shot. But I'll tell you one thing, he hated having to play that <laughs> shot right there. That's for sure, Mitch, because anything can happen here. Now that he's going to kick at the seven, he could actually kick behind. What he's going to do is come behind here and kick the seven ball and try to kick it in the side or the corner. And possibly making the eight ball on the side. Let's see what happens. Let's see how hard he hits it. And yeah. a tough shot for Mika Eminent to come to the table at right off the bat for him. Good hit there. Great shot. Great shot. Notice how he kept the cue ball down table. And I think you're going to see this ball being overcut. What Ephraim will do is hit the seven very thin, come back down table. There it is. Here it comes for this eight ball. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he said, all right, well, I, I got out of line on one, but I'm not going to do it again. As he leans over that beautiful Olhausen table, the official table sponsor of the International Challenge of Champions, Olhausen, the best in billiards, featuring AccuFast cushions, and Efren Reyes of Manila in the Philippines on the board first. One of these two players will walk away with $15,000. The other one will go home. Talk about the pressure. We've got it here. Now, playing for $50,000, which doesn't get any better than that. Now, you won this tournament in 1993. You did get the 50 grand. You know what it's like. It has to be an unbelievable feeling. It's an awful lonely way the other side. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it's real nice to win the 50, but it's very lonely to lose it. Well, I have something that I will read to you as the match goes on that has to do with just that, and it's interesting you said that. Mika Eminen broke, did not make anything on the break. And that's going to play a big part in this match. The break will be very, very important, Alan. Ephraim has a nice shot on the one ball. It's a long shot, but it's a shot he figures to pocket. And he missed it. And he might have gotten lucky. And no. Yes, he did. Yo. And that counts. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> well, you won't see him miss too often, but when he does miss, it helps to be a little lucky, and that's okay. That's how you win tournaments, Mitch. You have to be a little lucky also. Well, and he has won more than his share worldwide since he started playing in 1974. 
You said to me that he is, as far as you're concerned, of all, and you have played pretty much everybody who's played in the last 20, 30 years. Yes. You said he is the best player that you've played against and the smartest player you've played against. That's without a doubt, I, I would say uh, for sure. Especially in all the games. And uh, what he's done here is, he's, is I think this $50,000 is uh, <laughs> on a little bit of everybody's mind right here <laughs> because he's a little out of line and uh, he's left himself a long, you know, kind of a thin cut shot on the floor. He's going to bring the cue ball two rails back into the center of the table. Well, he decided to hit it hard and come all the way around the table. Now, be careful because this might be a little too hard. No? Uh, he did perfect. He's going to be okay. Well, his speed control. Well, just when you think he's lost a little bit of it, <laughs> then he just goes and does that. Well, you know what's interesting? The Filipinos have, have brought over, uh, the Philippine players have brought over a, a new style of playing nine ball, and it's a very smart style. And if you want to learn the game, watch the Philippine players play. And you'll see that a lot in this match with Efren Reyes. Right-handed, left-handed, he seems completely comfortable all the time. And as he chalks up that cue, we want to thank Viking, the official cue sponsor of the International Challenge of Champions. Take your best shot with Viking. As he drifts down for the eight and the nine, this would be the first two racks and off to a very quick start for Mr. Reyes. Thing is, Mika Eminen didn't make a ball on the break. You do not get that many chances. And if Efren is on and he's making a couple balls on the break, it could be a long night for Mika and a short night for Efren Reyes. Two nothing now, set number one here at the International Challenge of Champions. The magician, Efren Reyes from Manila in the Philippines at the table. Up two games to none against Mika Imanen. First set, there will be two sets. One of these players will walk away with $50,000. And the pressure right now, and Efren again with that one on the break, is starting to mount. You'll feel it so far. It doesn't seem like Efren's <laughs> felt it too much, Alan, but I know he's thinking about it. Well, it's very fortunate for Mika because the two and the three are tied up. There's the cue ball, and they're tied up, so... He's going to probably play a bank shot on the two. And he's lucky. Off the five? <laughs> well, I don't think he really meant to play it that <laughs> way. Uh, but it counts. He's smiling because it happened before. And he's just, he said, all right, I'll take him if I have to. Uh, how are they rolling for Ephraim Reyes? Oh, man. Here's another bank shot. He's going to bank the three ball cross side. <laughs> oh, we'll just show it to you all right now. Just keeps on happening. It's like a nightmare. I mean... <laughs> Efren got here in this very tough format of champions from around the world by defeating Niels Fian, 2001 Netherlands nine ball champion, and then defeating Xiao Lang Feng of Taiwan, two sets to none. In their semifinal match, looking very strong all the way. Nothing has deterred him so far. He knows how to play for big money, Alan. We've talked about it before. He really rises when there's a lot on the line. And he can play pool, too. Here you're going to see a nice six ball where he's going to drift the cue ball over to the side rail and play the seven ball in the same pocket. Excellent cue ball control for Efren Reyes. Now, what's going to be interesting to me in terms of, because obviously Efren's playing and he's playing well. He's about to go up 3-0 on Mika. If you're Mika and you've got to get back to the table, it's hard to stem this tide. It's going to take a lot for Mika to really change the momentum here. It's torture, Mitch. And you have to sit there and watch your opponent run out. There's nothing you can do about it but wait your turn. It's torturous, but he will he will be okay. In other words, he's used to this. Certainly, he knows it's the game. And Mika Eminen has come back from being down before. He finds himself quickly, very quickly down. Three nothing in the first set to Efren Reyes, the 1999 Player of the Year, 1999 World Nine Ball Champion, and titles too numerous to mention. <laughs> Mitch Lawrence and Alan Hopkins here inside the Wolf Den at Mohegan Sun. It's the 12th annual International Challenge of Champions, the longest running continuous billiard show in history. And there's a reason for it. Great players, $50,000 winner take all prize money. And you bet people like watching it. Oh, Mitch, a big break for Mika because Efren failed to make the one ball inside. And that's the first time in a long time that happened. It, right, here's the one ball and here's the cue ball. He's gonna pocket the one ball in the corner pocket. And the two ball is downtown. That's his concern about where to get with the cue ball. He's looking right now because here's the two ball. So he needs to come somewhere near where his hand is right now for the two ball. There comes the cue ball back over. Is it too hard? And slow down. Slow down. Oh, boy. Shaking his head and walking around the table. I'm thinking that... Mm. I know he wasn't happy that it drifted that far. Look at this. Maybe in the side. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> so he's playing safe there, Mitch. Well, you know what, though? He walked very quickly, not like he was leaving the table, Alan. No. Now, he might have taken a safe, but it sure, sure, maybe in his mind, this is how he's pumping himself up. But it sure looked like he meant to do it. Well, there's a nice shot right there. And what we're talking about is starting to happen, which is it turns a little bit. Efren doesn't make a ball in the break for the first time, as I said, in a long time. And all of a sudden, match is turned around. You're down 3 nothing. and get one back. And if he can just finish this rack off, he'd get it back to 2-3. And then he would have the break to try to even the match. So when you've got players of this caliber, Alan, we talk about this all the time, anything can happen. Especially with $50,000 on the line and two <laughs> players that are used to playing for big money. I mean, Mika's won some big tournaments. The world championship was fifty, sixty thousand yep. first prize. And, and uh, Ephraim also has played for big money, so in tournaments. Now, Mika has a nice shot on the seven ball to just drift the cue ball down table for the eight ball. He'll bring the, he'll bring the ball down this area here for the eight ball. And he's liking it right now. Very confident at the table. Playing great shape. And he's saying, okay, it may be Efren Reyes, but my name is Nick Anderson, and I'm not scared of anybody. This is what we expected a great matchup in the finals of the Challenger Champions. Efren Reyes at the table, the magician. We're tied at three apiece, first set. And he hit that too hard. That time the one ball didn't go, but the six ball gets a kiss off the one ball and goes in. A big break for Efren. He's pocketed the six ball on the break. Although here's the cue ball and here's the one ball. The two ball is tied up down here by the seven ball. So I think we're gonna see some safety play unless he tries to break him open with the one, cutting the one ball in the corner, coming down table and trying to break open the two seven maybe. And here it comes. If he hits the seven ball, he'll be okay probably. And there, what a great shot by Ephraim. <laughs> and that's perfect. <laughs> Boy, you talk about a great position shot. Hits the seven perfect to leave a shot on the two ball. Watch what he does with the cue ball here. He's probably going to double kiss the seven and try to come. Okay, he ended up going forward with the cue ball, and that's going to be a tough, tough layout here for the three, four. Notice the three and the four right here. He's going to, here's the cue ball. He's going to try to hit the three into the four, into the corner, but the four ball is going up table, so he's going to have to be careful with his position here. These are the shots that I like watching him on more than any other because when it's a little bit tough i'm interested to see what he's going to do with it well he brought the cue ball out and here comes the four ball did he hit it too hard and he's okay i think he's all right he's okay i mean he's going to have a, either a cut shot on the four ball cut the four ball on the side and bring the cue ball around three rails out to the center for the five ball and that's the interesting thing about watching somebody who really knows what they're doing he gave himself a couple of chances if it didn't come down that far he's got the corner pocket did he hit this hard enough Hit this too easy. He hit it too easy. Sneak by. Nope. A little bit harder. He needed it. And here's a big break for Mika. Notice the eight and the cue ball. He got the cue ball up against him. And here's the five ball. Now it looks like he can't hit the five directly. If he can, no, I don't think he can. Huh? Now here's the five ball. He can hit the five. He can play it over here. But it looks like I, I can't tell. But that's one option if he can hit it. And he was not happy. No, he's not happy. He's not happy. One more inch. He's going to bank this ball, I believe. He can hit it. He's going to bank this cross corner. Oh, he could make it. Oh, he could see it straight in. Wow, Mitch. Now, I couldn't tell he could see that unless he played a little mass yeah, You know what? You see him walking around <laughs> scratching his head, and you're going, well, he, he can't make it or else you're just... <laughs> wow. I mean, I mean, from here, it looks like he had no <laughs> shot at it. Excellent shot by that's, Efren. That's Reyes. the beauty of Efren, though. He just doesn't, he really doesn't tell you a whole lot. Now he's going to have to tell us something, though. <laughs> yeah. He has to keep doing tricks, the magician. Man. <laughs> oh, here's a nice shot. He's going to bank the eight ball cross side. He's going to keep the cue ball behind the nine. Keep an eye on the cue ball here. The cue ball will be behind the nine ball if he misses it. There. Oh. He let it get away. So, Mika, a big opportunity Whoa. for Mika. Wow. Mika was up out of that seat very quickly. $50,000 quickly. Unbelievable, Mitch. <laughs> Unbelievable. And Mika stands up. He makes it. I tell you, that was not an easy shot either. No, it wasn't. But he'll take it. This would be for four racks in a row for Mika Imminent after Efren Reyes. Took the first three. 
and it puts Mika Imanen on the hill in the first set. A lot of ups and downs, topsy-turvy, ins and outs, and when you're playing for this kind of money, this is what we expect. Mika Imanen, 4-3, and he'll have the break to take the first set. Uh, so it's, it's a good show for him. Well, once we got started and the people started, you know, getting into it little by little, you could feel the excitement. It's always nice to be around a lot of people who know the game. These players do know the game. You mentioned they filter in from all over New England to get down here and see it. We're glad you're with us for this rack. We'll talk to you a little bit about the APA in just a second, Alan, and a good break for Mika <laughs> Emin and a really powerful one, and he is staking his claim right now. A super break. Uh, he, made, he made three balls on the break. He's got the two ball, which is very important, right with the cue ball where he can make it, and the three ball is not far away either. If he brings the cue ball to the center of the table, he should be able to run out this rack. Well, the key, this is pretty tricky to get on the three, isn't it? Because he has to shoot the three in the same corner that he's making the two, doesn't he? Yeah, if he, if he can keep the cue ball in the center of the table, it'd be okay. But you're right, it is kind of tricky. It's a speed control shot. And, you know, it's hard to tell from ter Terry the angles up here. It it's, is. You know, it's a lot different up here than down there. He might try to run into the three. It almost looks like he's trying to do. Yeah, he's trying to look at, and that was the, that was the, the tricky part of it. It yeah. really was, you yeah. know. Now he's got a tough cut, but, uh, you know, these guys say, they young usually players. make it because the yeah, young guys have these eyes. <laughs> 25 years ago, this was a hanger, right, Terry? <laughs> now it looks like it's impossible. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a great shot. Oh, boy, he made it. <laughs> it hung up a little bit, teasing him a little bit. Now That I think was he, a great shot. It was, and this is, uh, this is just a straight follow, I would say. He'll just uh, he'll go to the short rail and then back across the table for the six. It's uh, not a difficult shot at all. You think he'll come up uh, between nine and six or stay on the bottom? Well, right? I think he would come up between them, but he didn't. Yeah, he, he stayed did. below it. To make sure, yeah. I was wondering if he would do that. Yeah. Once, so? a, once again, you're young like this. you got a lot of confidence you're going to make the long ones. You know, we talked about early on turning this match around when Efren Reyes was up 3-0 early. Mika Imanen has done just that. Terry? You have created for people with the founding of the American Pool Players Association a while ago a great place to go and play every week, get involved in the game. And being able to watch players like this obviously helps too, but being able to play is what you're... Well, I, I would say probably one of the greatest uh, membership benefits of being in the American Pool Players Association is to be able to take advantage of the handicapping system that equalizes play for, for players of all abilities. So I urge everyone to go to the internet. That's poolplayers.com. And go to the internet, poolplayers.com, that's one word with an S, and uh, you'll be able to find everything you need to know about the American Pool Players Association, including how to join. And it's been a pleasure being here with you, Mitch. Well, we yeah. thank you for all your work and everything you've done, and I know Mika Imminent right now is one happy camper. 5-3 in the first set. He takes that set in our format. The loser of the first set will break. That will be Efren Reyes. They're going for $50,000. Originally from Helsinki in Finland, now living in New York City. One of the hardest working nine ball players in the world. Mika Eminen does not only work hard on his game in a pool room, works out a lot, is very physically fit, knows that he has to train mentally and physically to stay on top. And he has done just that, getting better every year he has been playing. And a big, mm. powerful break, unfortunately, <laughs> with all the rest of those balls, mm. three of them, the cue ball. Three on the break, and the cue ball is number four, and Ephraim will have ball in hand. And, you know, when you talked about working out and stuff, not to uh, change what you just said, but Ephraim's at the table with ball in hand. But the other day, uh, Corey Duell and Mickey Eminem went to go work out in the spa. I mean, you know, Mickey even said to him, let's go work out, you know, and... Me, I went you to the say, coffee shop and had a Danish and a cup of coffee. You're saying that didn't happen before? <laughs> well, you know, it, 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 it does help. It does help your game. I thought I was going to hear you say the words, in my day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's nice to be in shape, and it does help your pool game. People think that you don't have to be in shape to play pool, and you do have to be in excellent shape. Well, Mika talked about stamina, and you know this, that this particular format, as well as other formats, you have to play multiple matches, and you better be in shape. You better be able to just stay there and if you look at nothing else than the way the players' bodies are every time they get over a shot, you need to be in shape. Without a doubt, Mitch, you're exactly right. That's why working out helps. All right, Efren, working his way around the table. And what a big, big break for him. Mika scratching. And making three balls on the break. It's kind of like you need to write a thank you note after that. It's like playing six balls. Six left on the table and ball in hand. If you're up and raise. Oh, no. 
Oh. Now wait, again? Again, he didn't call the nine ball. Well, look at the break here for Mika. Wow. This is the second time that this has happened to Efren in the last couple of matches. And I'm taking one away from Efren. And I'm going to give it to Mika Imminent. You have to call the nine, even if it's a straight-in shot. Wow. That is the rule. That's the format. Efren knew it. And he gives that one over to Mika Imminent. When you're playing for $50,000, mental mistakes like that obviously can hurt. And there is one unhappy Efren Reyes right there. Feeling the sting of not calling the nine again. Did it in the semifinal match. Mika Imanen is taking advantage of everything that's coming his way. Not only is he playing great nine ball, but he's shown a lot of heart, a lot of guts coming back from down three racks in the opening set to win 5-3. He's now at 2-1 in set number two. A big break mm. again. Oh, boy, look now out. let's see. Don't let the two go in. If let's the two goes in, oh. See where he's going to wind up. Oh, Mish. Unbelievable. Yeah. Look at this. 3 9 combination. The three and the nine are lined up dead in the corner pocket, and the one and the two went on the break. We're going to see a fast rack here if he calls it. Man. <laughs> he's going to call it probably. But I mean, it's a 3 9 well, combination. Looking to see. Now, let's see if he does it because he did not call it. He did not call it. He missed it. Wow. What a big break. And you know, somebody shouldn't tell him not to call it. Wow. Yeah, that was a big turn. I'll tell you, you get wrapped up in the heat of the match. And I was about to say before that Mika has not done that in any of his matches. That's where the $50,000 starts taking over. You think you got a chance for a 4 9 combination early? into that rack and this is what i meant you can never count anybody out of a set well what a turn of events mitch i mean that three nine was on and i think mika just just missed it i know wow. somebody was yelling in the audience you know call it or something but i think he had already called it and he's still not out you know this is not no oh look how he <laughs> he liked that shot he hit the nine out of the way so he could make the six ball next that was sweet i, I think he got a little fortunate there that he did hit it but he still would have been okay with a combination on the 6-9. So he's going to play the 6-ball in the corner and bring the cue ball around two rails for the 7-ball. Boy, a lot going on right now. And it's what you expect to happen as it gets closer toward the end of this match, one way or the other. It starts getting very interesting when this much money is at stake. And I don't care who you are and how many times you played for big money. <laughs> Anytime you put 50 grand on the table and say, here it is, something's going to happen. And Efren again in danger of not calling it. Wow. But this time he does. And so just like that, you swing around and it's two games apiece in set number two. And Efren will have the break, making mental errors and the crowd getting into it, trying to let them know to do things, not do things, call it. They're just getting into it now. And Efren Reyes is so wrapped up in it. There's a nine. Look at this. He made the nine, but it won't count. The nine will not count. <laughs> in this format, you cannot, you cannot make it on the break. It's considered locked in. Now, if he had learned, talked to, turned to Steve Tipton and said, I'm calling the nine on the break. No, he cannot. <laughs> okay. But here's the two ball, and here's the cue ball. And the seven ball looks like it's in the way, so he really doesn't have a shot on the two ball unless he wants to play a combination, but he will not. I don't think he'll... Well, he may. He may play the combination and stay at the table. Now he played, he played a bank shot on the two and it hung up. And a nice opportunity now for Mika. I don't know why he played that. I mean, I that was kind of like a, 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 almost a give up shot there. But, but anyway, he played it and the two ball is hanging in the corner. And here's the three ball. So if he makes the two, Mika will have easy position on the three ball. Just make the two. And... A nice opportunity now for Mika. <laughs> <laughs> this is back and forth now. <laughs> it's very exciting, I'll tell you. <laughs> and one great thing about, we've talked about this before, Alan, one great thing about this format is you can lose that first set. You still have the second set to get back into it. You do not get blown out just because you've lost the first set, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. That's what's so unique about it. Whew. Exciting format. You can feel, the, feel it building in here right now. I'm going to roll this in nice and easy. Just come off. He does not want to be on the other side of the seven. He's perfect. 
And we may see all three balls go in the same pocket. Seven, eight, and nine. That's a nice thing, isn't it? <laughs> you have a lot of work to do. Yeah, like a little one-pocket yeah. game. <laughs> I know you like one-pocket. Oh, yes. But he's, he's straight in on the seven, so he'll probably just stop right there and throw it back a little bit, not much. And he'll play the eight in the same pocket and bring the cue ball over to the other side of the table for the nine in the same pocket. Taking his time. At this stage, every shot key. Leaves himself in good position and points to that pocket. And this for Mika Imminen would be for a 3-2 lead. Pocket cam says it's good. And Mika Imminen breathes a sigh of relief after a big break by Efren Reyes. Miss on the two and Mika takes advantage and he will have the break. And there you see the two different faces that are telling the story of this finals match. Efren Reyes a bit disconsolate right now. He knows that he's made a couple of plays that he has to wonder about. Mika Imminent, on the other hand, anxious, focused, jumped up to get to the table, knowing that he has the break. He is up 3-2. He won the first set 5-3 with five consecutive racks at the end of that set. This would be to get on the hill one game away from a $50,000 winner-take-all payday. And he has been crushing this break, Alan. Yes, he has. He hit those awfully hard. He's made the three ball on the break, and oh, boy. This is sweet. <laughs> Big time. Sweet. He made two balls on the break, and the one ball and the cue ball right here. He'll play the one ball in there and bring the cue ball back down table somewhere for the two ball. He has to be very careful here. He mainly wants to make sure he gets the cue ball down to the bottom rail, low right-hand spin on the cue ball. Be careful he does not scratch in the side pocket or the other corner pocket. And here it comes, perfect. Get to the rail and have an angle to get up. And well, I'll tell you, he has been playing well. That was Mitch. great. It's a big game. That I was great. This is a swing game right here, Alan. Well, you see the five and six along the rail. The ball's right here. He's going to have a problem with. Could have a problem with. And here, okay. So the five and six is going to tell the tale, Mitch. Because it's not easy getting on both of them. Now he's thinking ahead a little, as you always do, and he shook his head a little bit when he looked down <laughs> at the five and the six. Well, here it comes he right knows. here. He's yep. going to have to play the cue ball now. He's going to play the five ball in the corner pocket, bring the cue ball. He'll play the five in here. I think he's going to bring the cue ball back over this way. Or come one, two rails like this. I believe he may draw the ball. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and a great break for Ephraim. Wow, a big break for Ephraim. Oh, boy. I tell you what, right a $50,000 break, Mitch, I'll tell you that. Unbelievable. Ephraim has life. I bet he shoots this lefty, Mitch. Oh, look at this. Now, now you, this is when you know it means something right now. Exactly. He's shot so many shots left-handed, and this time he says no. Now, did he call this? I don't know, did he? I think he did. I don't know. I hope he did. I think he did too. Wow. Wow. So instead of on the hill, Mika Imminent, here we go again. Another emotional swing. And Efren Reyes, for all that we've talked about, is now tied in the second set, three racks apiece. And he has the break, trying to get to the end of this set. Back and forth we go. Zeros and a five in his future if he can win this game. $50,000, he's one game away, and as Alan Hopkins told me, he's going to break. Efren Reyes, amazingly, is only three games away from $50,000, so he can't feel out of it yet, but Mika definitely has the advantage with the break and on the hill. Here's what it comes down to right here. Watch out for the cue ball. Look at here, he has to come with a shot, I think. The three ball comes over to the rail, and wow. we have action. He made three balls on the break. He made the one, the two, and the eight. And here's the three ball and the four ball together. Here's the cue ball. So Ephraim may have gotten a break. He may play the combination here, the three into the four, and try to make the four in the corner. And that's what he's looking at right now. If he makes this, Mitch, it's going to be all over. Showtime. Yeah, and this is not an easy shot. Well, we saw him come with one in the game previous. Yeah. Wow, he made it, but he didn't play position on the three. Made a nice shot, but he didn't, didn't play any position. So now he's faced with a safety 
unless he wants to get very offensive. Now, here's the cue ball, and here's the three. You can send the three ball down table and bring the cue ball back over in this area. Or he could just try to bank the three and become very offensive. But I think he's going to try to play safe, bring the cue ball over maybe behind the six or just bring the three ball down table. This is very important. He'll take a Takes timeout. Takes his timeout. This could be the whole match right here. Yeah, but you know what? We have alternated racks now for the last five racks. And I have no clue what's going to happen now. <laughs> well, I'll tell you <laughs> what. Sometimes you get good. a feel for it, but right now I have no idea. There's nothing wrong with that right there. Yeah, I know. Ephraim has to come with a shot. And he's going to probably try to play a bank shot, trying to bank the three or just play a five ball, the three into the five. Whatever he does, it's not going to be an easy shot. How do you like and it? And he made a great shot like by Ephraim. There's a sign of a champion like It's right there. Man. And trust me, he is right back in this match right now. This is exactly what I was talking about. Unbelievable format where you can have this kind of back and forth action. Excellent shot he made. And he has a nice layout here with the six ball. He just stopped the cue ball right there for the seven ball on the side. Won't take any. Oh, he drew the ball back. Okay, he doesn't want to take any chances of not being good on the seven. So <laughs> I think he's okay, a little now, pumped up, I'll tell you the truth. I, he is, but I'm just wondering. Let's see if he calls it. The crowd's going to start yelling. There he goes. <laughs> and there was no doubt about that one. And this is what we've been waiting for. All right. Both players coming with the shots. This is what comes down to when you've got the best in the world. 4-4, four, four, second set. If Everett wins this game, we have a sudden death tiebreaker. If Mika wins this game, he's got $50,000. I'm not the only one. This entire crowd has been moving up in their seats, Alan, inch by inch for about the last five racks. All right, let's go. Let's go. The international go. challenge of champions. Two world champions, former world champions, Efren Reyes in 99, Mika Imminent in 2001. He made, the, he made a ball, he made the There's two another ball. another one. Oh, boy. Look where the three is in the corner. Three balls on the break, the one and the two ball, and the four ball. The three ball is hanging in the corner pocket. Here's the cue ball, but position for the five ball is not going to be easy by far. Now he may elect to play for the combination after he makes a three to three seven combination, which probably would be easier to do. Let's see what he elects to do. This is a very, very careful he has to be here. Okay, he's elected to play the five seven combination. I believe he did anyway well, because he's not he's not oh. he wanted it down there. He wasn't looking happy, but he's still going to play for the combination. Now the combination is right here. The five into the seven into the corner pocket. And the whole thing is holding the cue ball there for the five ball. That, this is not easy. No, that's why, why he wanted more down the yeah. table, right? Yes. So he could have an easier time doing that. You are correct, Mitch. But, but I'll think, I think he's going to, you know, under the circumstances with the $50,000 and stuff, I'll tell you, this is not an easy shot. And he's going to play it. He made it. Oh, Look out for the are. cue ball, though. See the cue ball? Right. That's not, you know, he still isn't out yet. This is not easy. He's got to cut the five in now and play position for the six ball. So we are still, he's got to hit the five very thin. Now he's got to watch out. The reason he's pulling the sleeve on his sweater up is because <laughs> if that sleeve touches the nine ball that it's, it's hanging foul. over, it is a foul. And trust me, it would be over then. He made it. <laughs> <laughs> He made it look like a hanger, didn't I, he? <laughs> I'm telling you, there's some ice water in those veins. He made it look like a hanger, Mitch, to tell you the truth. First the combination, and then that slice on the five. Six and the eight right down there. And I'm not going to uh, say anything yet. I'll tell you the <laughs> truth, because I've seen too many things happen. Oh, uh, boy. This is so exciting. He's got to get... You may see the cue ball travel a little bit here for the nine ball. Uh-oh, watch out for the side pocket. Oh, he hit this too hard. This is too hard. Oh, this is too hard. Look at this. What's he gonna do? He's got. He's looking at a bank. Oh, what is he boy. <laughs> oh boy. I tell you what, Mitch. <laughs> that was too hard. I knew as soon as he hit it. Now he's gonna have to try to cut this yeah. in. He's gonna cut it in. Well, I'll tell you what. If anybody can do this, he can. He cuts the ball as good as anybody living. Okay. This is either for a tie and sudden death. Look at he this. made it. Look at this. Great show. Look at that. <laughs> Woo-hoo! <laughs>
Got action. <laughs> you had better believe they're on their feet. Okay, let's set it up. This is what it all comes down to and what we thought might happen at the beginning of this match. Sudden death, one rack. This is it, the end. $50,000 will go to one of these two great champions. Efren Reyes on the left, Mika Imanen on the right. And Mika Imanen will have the break, and that was not even close, Alan. No, it wasn't. Getting a look at a product that has become a fixture in championship pool, the Sardo Tight Rack, the only rack with repeatable precision. He knows what this is all about. He's been in this situation before. He knows he has no control over what's about to happen on this first shot. All he wants is a chance to get back to the table. Mika Imanen, on the other hand, hoping to make something happen and stay at the table. He's done it before in this match. And now he's in a position to win $50,000. The players will each have two timeouts in this one rack at the Challenge of Champions. Lucky he can't win on the break for Ephraim because he's been breaking. Don't scratch. Has he made a ball? Yeah. Yes, he has. Look at Just this. Just oh. Well, those balls are tied up, though. No, Mitch, actually, he has a nice layout. He can. Here's the cue ball, and here's the one ball, and here's the two ball. So he's got a nice opportunity here that last for a run out. Cleared him, yep. Yeah, the four ball is right here. That could be the only ball, but I think he's got a nice opportunity here for a run out. Now, the $50,000 makes a big difference, <laughs> too, you know. And being one game, you can't make a mistake. And he hit at the perfect speed to come out toward the center of the table. Eight balls, seven balls away, $50,000. Okay, he does not want to be straight in on this, and he did get straight in, and that could be a problem. And he knows it. That could be a problem. Now, as you see, he's going to play the three ball in the corner, but the cue ball, he's going to have to draw it back for the four ball because he wants to play the four ball on the side next. And the five ball is in a good position where if he gets straight in on the four, it'll be okay. And you have to be careful now. He has to be a little careful here because... Sure does. He has to put a little stroke on this because the seven ball could get in the way and didn't play here. Oh, man. So, well, let's take a deep breath, Meek, and fire it in the side and roll the cue ball with high English. He's got to follow the cue ball. High English, follow through. And look at the seven ball come into play. That's what I was talking about right there. That's exactly what I was talking about, Mitch. The seven ball getting in the way. Unbelievable. And now he's going to be forced to kick it ball, but it's not over yet because this is a kick where if he hits it, he could get lucky. So it's not over. He's going to be forced to go to the side rail. And boy. <laughs> you know, at this point, though, to be in a place where you're just thinking about maybe oh. I can get lucky for 50 grand. The scratch is very big here. He has to watch out for the scratch. And look out. And... Well, here it is. An opportunity now for Ephraim to come to the table and win the Challenge of Champions. And wow. <laughs> and that is what you want. Yep. As I said before, he just wanted a chance to get there. And now, let's see what he can do with it. And Mika Imanen is absolutely sick. Oh, well, he has to be. He's going to play the five ball in the left-hand corner and bring the cue ball back down table for the six ball. How's that for a shot? And How that is, is that for a shot? And here it is, and I'll tell you what. How is that for a shot? After all this, How was three that? balls for <laughs> 50 grand. Unbelievable, I'll tell you. Well, the 50,000 does come into play, but you got to say that. Absolutely, not even a question. Low left-hand English on the cue ball. And that is exactly what you want to see. And you better believe that Efren Reyes is pointing to the final nine that is worth $50,000. Unbelievable. There you see a man who last year, Francisco Bustamante, lost 50000 in a sudden death tiebreaker to Fong Bang Chow. His countryman, Efren Reyes, will take it home. A disconsolate Mika Imanen, four balls away.
from that same check and cannot get it done. He will be back, though. And here at the end of an unbelievably amazing match between Efren Reyes and Mika Eminen, the winner, the champion of champions being presented that trophy by Terry Bell of the American Pool Players Association. There it is. And if you want to see Efren Reyes smile a very, very big smile, he will do so. <laughs> he loves holding that up. He is about to love even more holding this up. Mr. Paul Munich, the Vice President of Sports and Entertainment for the Mohegan Sun. A check for $50,000 to Efren Reyes as our champion of champions. It has been a phenomenal...